everybody. So listen, angel food cake is famous for being devilish to make. That is the <laughs> truth. True. But here to set the record straight with the science behind this devilish delicious dessert is the devilishly delicious Dan Kohler. Oh. Wow, there's the alliteration yeah. twice. Back to back on a date when words are hard. Yeah, yeah and I didn't even stutter. <laughs> <laughs> bravo, bravo. Uh, you deserve a treat for that. So please oh, take, yeah, oh. take it. Fantastic. You know, uh, you're exactly right. Angel food cake has gotten a reputation in this country for being really difficult to prepare. And it's not just uh, from us at home thinking that. Some of our most famous chefs have put into their cookbooks that this is a difficult thing you should be worried about. Oh. Craig Claiborne, who worked for the New York mm -hmm. Times for decades. James Beard, our most famous American chef. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys have said in their cookbooks, you need to sift your flour five to six times. What? You need to be very careful with your egg whites. They have to be room temperature. You should fold the sugar in later. Oh uh, they can't be overbeaten or underbeaten. And they make this cake out to be so finicky that I thought it'd be fun to kind of debunk it. Because truth be told, this should be in your back pocket. There's no reason you can't make it tonight. Oh, really? really? All right. I'm always afraid of this. Yeah, everybody I'm always is. afraid. So if you can yeah. debunk it, I'm I'm, Great. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah. Like I'm here for you. Put it in your back so, pocket. Okay, so really, the, <laughs> really the, fir the first step, you do actually have to sift your flour, like Craig Claiborne and James Beard said, but you don't have to sift it six times. I mean, that's insane. Sift your flour. You want to use cake flour because that's actually low gluten, and we can make this gluten free so easily. We'll get to that in a minute. How many times do you sift then? S just, just once. once. I just yeah. sift it once. It's five ounces of flour. Sift it once. Set that aside, that's and it. then we get to the real star of angel food cake, which is your egg whites. Right. Mm -hmm. Most recipes say room temperature egg whites. Start beating them. Add the sugar in slowly. Mm -mm. Too finicky. No, no. We're going to use cold egg whites, and we're going to put all the sugar in there at once because that actually gives you a buffer zone for overbeating the but eggs. But I thought if you don't do that right. whites exactly. Exactly right. You're not going to get the fluffiness. So I did this at home, and I want to show you how much oh better God. it works when you use cold egg whites and full sugar. Let's get that video started. Oh my God. This is what it looks like at the beginning. Now you're going to start it on low. I know it looks like it's fast. We're speeding this up. You're going to beat it for just about a minute to loosen up those egg whites with the sugar. You're denaturing the proteins here. Now it should be a, it should be a little gelatinous still in the beginning phase. Then you're going to keep beating. What's happening here is you're actually stretching apart those egg proteins, and they're pressing against each other, and they're trapping air. Now this second phase, it should start to look foam but it should not have any real body yet. Now we add the stabilizer, and that's lemon juice and kosher salt. Now you can really let it rip. I'm going at about a medium high here. Another three minutes. Okay, now it's opaque. You can't see through it. It's starting to get beautiful. Last phase, beat it for about two to four minutes on the highest speed you've got. Now, this is important. Most recipes are going to tell you it should be stiff. I don't want stiff. You see how soft it is, and it's yeah. almost falling back yeah. into itself there? Here's what, here's what happens. That cake on the left, that one's been beaten with soft egg, made with soft egg whites. The one on the right with stiff egg whites totally collapsed in the oh, oven. Wow. So if you want height, I'm telling you the most important thing is do not overbeat your egg whites. Okay. Yeah. That was so You're good. Amazing. Yeah, and so that's actually what I've got here. And you can see, again, this is what I'm talking about with that texture. I want something that's going to fall back into itself, okay, and can almost just, it's, it's pudding, okay? Your egg whites should be the texture of pudding. And after this, Beautiful. all you've got to do... Dan, is that the same for meringue? Would you do the same? You know, this is a, this is a specific type of meringue. And, and we, th there's Italian meringue, there's Swiss meringue, there's French meringue. Oh. This is a very specific meringue to angel okay. food cake in that you're using cold egg whites and you're beating it with the sugar wow. to begin with. And meringue you want stiff. Yes. So uh, that's what I, that's, yes. Yes, that's what I think. So now, here, all we have to do is fold that flour in gently. But you don't have to be too finicky here. And once it's, once it's fully incorporated, and if you see a little of, you know, some patches where it's kind of grainy still, don't worry. Just give it a little sizzle. Now, I like to say your egg whites should be almost pourable, okay? It should be easy to fill this pan. Wow. Look Without having to scoop it out in. Yeah, it shouldn't have to be totally scooped because this is how you're going to get extreme height. When the egg whites are still a little bit soft, they're pliant in the oven, which means they can still grow. They still have room to, when that air is trapped, they still have room to press against each other. You can give it a little a shake and then flatten it out on top. Put this in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Wow. And then, okay. actually, the real secret is I've got the finished one over here. Oh, and it's already fallen out. <laughs> <laughs> and if you caught that, it has to cool upside down. We're going to use gravity to our advantage here. And that's why angel food pans have these little stilts. And then you just lift your cake oh, out, and you've got, I mean, you've got stunning height if you do it this way.
like non-stick around the pan. This is very important. I'm glad you brought it up. Look at how sticky it is in here. This is exactly yeah. what you want. You had to you cut should, that out, right? You yeah, should never cool. grease or line an angel food pan because those egg whites and that sugar need something to cling to and climb up, okay? So never put butter in there. Mm. So in other oh, words, wow. that's disposable afterwards. Right, exactly. <laughs> but you can't, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't actually tell, like, the height you get from this cake is just, beautiful. it's just This beautiful. is so great. good. It's yeah. delicious. And it's really so good. You need to taste the fruits of your labor, please. Yes. <laughs> it would be my There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. So good. We are going to come back. So good. When we so do, good. we're sitting down and talking with our family members about their best prom stories. Oh, oh yeah. That was prom.